Hi guys, I'm Joey, sales manager here at Volo, filling in for Jay still. Today we have a 68 Camaro RS Pro Touring car. Uh, if you like this car and you want more information, you can go to our direct website, which is volocars.com, get the list price, get all the still pictures, and find out some more information. If you like the video, hit the like and subscribe button. But for now, let's take this first spin. Here we have a 68 Camaro, dark metallic blue. This is a fantastic color. You can see the color combination with the red interior really sets this car off. The last owner, we had this car previously, added some red pinstriping down here. I'm going to be honest, at first I wasn't sure about it. It's kind of growing on me. If you're not sure about it either, it can be removed really easily. But the fit and finish on the paint is super smooth. It's been ceramic coated, so everything just kind of flows right off of it. On the back side, it's got an actual carbon fiber rear spoiler. The bumpers have been all re-chromed. They're super clean. Got some more of the red pin striping back here. Tail light bezels are good. They're not pitted. When we had the car previously, there was a paint flaw right here. That customer took the car in, had it redone. The paint is smooth. No issues, no flaws there. There's a couple little spots. A little chip here that was touched up. And the one on the door right here that was also touched up. The paint past that is really nice. You can see great fit and finish, nice even door gaps, front and back, really clean. It's got American Racing 18 inch tires. One of the other upgrades that the customer did was he added rear disc brakes. It had drum on it when he picked it up from us before. Now it's got four wheel disc brakes, drilled and slotted rotors. It's got the RS front end with the high delay lights. It's got a Detroit Speed electronic motors, so they open and close very easily. Headlights were also upgraded when he bought it. It's got LEDs in it now. The white nose stripe is a vinyl stripe, so that could be removed if you don't like it. I think it adds a little contrast. Looks good. Vinyl top, all the stainless around the top is in great shape. Top is smooth. A lot of times you'll see little bubbles and stuff like that under the vinyl tops. I don't see anything like that. It does look like it's got the original rear window in the car. So it's got a couple little scuffs and scratches on it. The rest of the paint on the deck lid, everything looks really good on this. Just a fantastic color combination. So with that, let's check out the interior. Inside the trunk, you can see undersides all painted, a lot of polished clear coat. They're wet sanded and buffed this as well. Nice and clean. Weather stripping is fresh and clean. It's not very soft and pliable, not ripped or torn or anything like that. Inside the trunk, you can see the splatter paint. Nice, no issues. I don't see any rust or any rust repair. No spare or jack with this one. Right. On the interior, it's got all new door panels, new armrest. You can see the door jams all painted clean. No issues on the door. There's a couple little chips on the door sill, but it's got new sill plates, probably from a seatbelt. Nice clean dash, new dash pad all the way. It's got vintage air, so these are all electric. They push them on and off, very easy. No cables to bind up. It's got a resto sound radio. I just touch base on this. They're great. They look stock, but they're all digital. AC vents. It's got speakers here in the kick panels on both sides. That's an add-on with the Resto Sound Radio. It also has a set of six by nines in the back. And a Hurst shifter to the T56 six speed. You can see the driver's seats are all recovered. One of the add-ons they did on this was three-point seat belts. And they added three-point seat belts in the front and in the back. So they're retractable. You don't have to worry about them getting in the way. 
Same thing with the back seat belt. Just like a normal car that we're used to every day. Headliner's in great shape. Even the back panels, a lot of times those will get wrinkly over time. Fairly clean. Looks like you changed the dome light to an LED. That's a nice little upgrade too. They added a tilt column. It's got tilt steering. See here. Really nice. It's got Dakota digital gauges. And a lucky rabbit's foot. That comes with it. Now this is where the real fun begins. This has got a rebuilt LS1 with a Texas Speed cam and lifters. It's got the right springs for the cam. A Vortec D1 SC Supercharger. Pro Charger, sorry. Pro Charger D1 SC. Pro Charger rates these superchargers good to up to 925 horsepower. This does not have that much horsepower, but it has more than you need. It's got upgraded control arms. They're all tubular. New alternator, new power steering brackets, new power steering pumps. It's got the vintage air kit. You can see the power brake booster, master cylinder. It's got four wheel disc brakes, so it's got the new proportioning valve. To keep it running all cool, we got a big aluminum radiator, electric fans on front and back side. Added this fan here to the AC condenser to make sure that the AC blows ice cold. If you can look down in here, you can see it's got an air to air intercooler making sure that the boost temperature keeps the intake temps down. We've also added a vacuum canister for the brakes, just to make sure that you always have the correct brake pressure. Now the motor was completely gone through uh, before we bought it the first time. It runs great. It runs extremely strong. It's a really fun car to drive. He went through and dialed it back in, uh, added a couple little things. So it's got a mid-size pulley on it now. This setup makes about 10 pounds of boost. I've driven this car, I'm gonna say roughly, I don't know, 500 horse or so, give or take. You can see here that wipers have been converted, all electric motors. That's a lot smaller than the traditional unit, fits in, gives you all this extra space, gives you that clean firewall. So on the underside, you can see it's got a 12 volt rear end with 373 gears. It is posi. You can see the Caltrack support system uh, helps keep the power to the ground on these cars. It's a really nice feature. It does have coil over suspension up front so you can adjust the ride height and how firm it rides. Uh, that is also helps with the tubular control arms to keep the control arms from flexing and moving around. Nice stiff uh, suspension up there. The Vortec, or sorry, Pro Charger sounds amazing too. Uh, it almost sounds as good as the exhaust. It's got Flowmaster exhaust on here with an H pipe. You'll hear that on the test drive video. If you have any other questions, you can reach us at bolocars.com. Shoot us an email, give us a call. We'd be happy to help you out. Uh, if you liked the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And we hope to talk to you soon. Thank you.